favorite child loves to eat. Kimula directly translates to crocodile because its shape represents a crocodile. Let's have a look at the recipe now. To make the dough, first we have to activate the yeast. For that, in a bowl, take 2 teaspoon yeast. 1 teaspoon sugar and quarter cup warm water and mix well. Leave it aside for 10 minutes until you get a frothy mixture at the top. In another bowl, take 250 gram maida and 250 gram wheat flour. To this add 1 by 3rd cup butter, 1 teaspoon salt, 60 gram sugar, and one egg. Also add in the yeast mixture and mix this with one cup of warm water little by little to form a smooth dough. Then knead the dough for about 10 to 15 minutes. Make sure that you don't knead the dough more than 10 to 15 minutes. Apply some oil to the dough and cover it with a damp cloth. rest for one hour so that it doubles in size. Now take a small portion of the dough and roll it with your hands so that no cracks are formed. Similarly, do the same for the remaining dough. Place the dough balls in the baking tray. Brush a little oil on top of it and close it with a cloth for half an hour. For the sugar syrup, check if you got the one string consistency. Take one dough ball and start rolling it. Next, cut a long triangle out of it. Now, roll from the end point to the start point of the triangle. Place all the dough in the baking tray lined with butter paper. Brush the sugar syrup on top of every buns. Then sprinkle little sugar on top of all the buns that you have made. Place this now in the preheated oven. Bake for 25 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. After it's ready, Cool for 10 minutes and start enjoying it. Thank you for watching. You can also try this at home. Please do subscribe for more cooking recipes. See you next week. Until then, have a special Sunday.